Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm sharing with you yet another build, a no build build. I'm just switching a little bit around. I put my fridge and Blue Eddie back there. A little something different with the cot. And um, yeah, just trying to get different ideas. I actually put the third row uh, bench seats up and I'm about to give you a little tour. So the interior looks similar to a previous build that I had. I like this layout very much. The only difference is now I put the third row seats up and I figured I would try this because I wanted an actual bench seat back there. This maximizes my floor space. I actually have a comfortable bench seat instead of just sitting on the bed. I have plenty of storage under and I like it you guys. I like my my shoe rack aka my kitchenette right there. So yeah you guys now I can sit comfortably here and I have plenty of floor space. I've got where um, I mean, you can put some shelving, you can put a, a small dresser there, you can put bins, it's up to you, you know, whatever you have, you make it work. And I mean, the it's 15 inches high of storage under, which I have nothing under right now. So there's plenty of storage there. I lose a bit of storage that would have been under where this leg folds out but there's still a little bit of storage where you can slide things under um, under these seats but not not a lot comparing but i'm able to have these seats up and it's very comfortable i can actually sit here um, if you had like a an ipad or a laptop or something you can watch movies there you're far enough away or even your phone, you can put your phone there and watch whatever you want. I can cook there. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to try to have the bed resting on the bench here on the third row. Let me sit over here so I can show you what I'm talking about. So this is the 60 bench side and this is the 40 bench side. Typically what people do is um, stow this, this section and then put their cot or their bed along this way, which is fine. But the only issue for me is that I prefer to walk in and out of this sliding door on the driver's side. So I wanted this to be open and I wanted my bed on this side. And then the issue with that was the cot is too wide comparing to the, the smaller seat right there, which is the 40%. So I would have to put it on this side. And then it dawned on me, wait a minute, I can put the both of these um, seats up and put the third row up. And then I wanted to try and see if the cot would actually just stay on there and the legs would be okay. So I have those two legs down and then that one's folded up, as you can see right there. And it is a little bit higher, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. And of course you only, <laughs> you only have 69 inches worth of length here with the cot. So if you're any taller than that, that might not work. I'm gonna try this setup for the next two, three days and see what I think about that. These are just a few pictures just so you can actually see what it looks like. And I'm not moving the camera around, but it's, pretty comfortable I'm enjoying it so far this was what the cot looked like before I put the sleeping bag and blankets and all that and this is the very back what it actually looks like right, it's very difficult to see but there is a gap in between here and the vents have plenty of room to breathe for the fridge Blue Eddie's way down there. I'm gonna have to do some kind of shelf system back here. Maybe purchase another one of these shelves. 
and I can open the fridge from here. If I need to get something. So I might try this setup for a while. But that's what that looks like. So I'll be able to store some stuff there. If I purchase another shelf, this 23 and some change inches. So it'll be it'll be snug, but I can still scoot this over, put another one here. But put another shelf here and then have a bunch of extra storage. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'm just sharing different ideas of what you can do. Just simple builds that I'm coming up with and also that I've seen on other videos that I get ideas from. I'm just trying to use what I already have and try to do different layouts and just kind of share that with you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye guys. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia and if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. Hit that thumbs up, put a comment on there, all that good stuff. You can also join the channel and become part of our coffee club. Thanks for all your love and support. Bye guys.